everybody. Welcome back to Heart Breathings. This is the third video in my Planner 101 series. This is probably one of the most requested planner videos that I get, which is how do you plan on a budget? So I have seven tips that I'm going to share with you today for ways that I think you can really start to plan when you're on a budget. These are some tips that I employ myself to get so many of the planners. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have lots of planners. I have my main planner, but I also use lots of different planners throughout the year and there's no way I could afford to just buy them all outright at full price and still be using them. We would be out of house and home, trust me. So I have learned some tricks along the way. So some of these tips are things that I used when I was literally making no money and was just trying to get started as a writer, all the way to things that I employ now so that I can use lots of different planners and get to know different types of systems without spending a lot of money. So let's get started. This first tip is going to be very specific to the United States, but hopefully if you're not in the United States, you can find some comparable stores. But the first tip is to look at any kind of discount store and see what types of planners they have there. I'm talking everything from the Dollar Tree, which in the United States is just a dollar store where everything in the store costs a dollar. You'd be surprised how much stationery and pens and things like that they have at the dollar store that you can use. So I'm going to go over that in a minute. Big Lots is another one, at least here in the South. And again, I don't know about all the international stores or which stores are on the West Coast or not, but you guys know what are the kind of discount stores where you go to get clearance items or over stock items and things like that. So here in the South, we have Big Lots. We also have Ollie's Discount Warehouse, which is one of the discount shops. And these don't have to be stationary specific types of discount shops. Any type of overstock or discount shop, like Tuesday Morning is another example, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I know in some parts of the country and even in Canada, it's called Home Sense. You'd be surprised because these are like home type stores, but they often have stationary sections where you can find pins and planners and things like that. I have found Kate Spade planners. I have found Bando planners. I've found uh, Kiki K planners even in discount stores like TJ Maxx. And it's not the type of place you would normally go to look for that sort of thing. You might be going for clothing or furniture or anything like that, but go and look at these discount shops because they have notebooks and planners and all kinds of things that were overstocked or didn't get sold. So I'm going to show you real quick what I'm talking about. So this is a Dollar Tree haul that I did recently, and I'm going to be doing a video on planner supplies found at Dollar Tree, like testing these supplies, but I have used some of this stuff before. So you can see here that with all of the stuff that I purchased, I spent $14. So you can really get a lot of things at Dollar Tree and you wouldn't really think that they would be necessarily the best quality. And like I said, I'm going to do another video where I test out all of this stuff because I don't really know how good some of the gel pens and things are. But I will tell you this because I have tried some of these that these like Optimus felt tip pens are great. They're almost as good as like these Sharpie pens to me, the Sharpie felt tip pens. I think they work great two for a dollar. Then another favorite of mine from the Dollar Tree are these Jot gel pens. They're really fine like needle point gel pens and I love them and three for a dollar, you can't really beat that because if you go into like Paper Mate Joy or the Ink Joy pens, you're spending a couple of dollars per pen or at least a dollar or more per pen. And these last pretty much just as long. The only thing that's bad about these is you can tell the body is you know, thin and more brittle. So like the cap breaks almost every time I use them, but it works and they're good pens and you can get them for very cheap at the Dollar Tree. So lots of pens, they also have deco tape or washi tape. And you can see from this that you're not looking at a ton of tape, but unless you're gonna use a lot of tape in every single one, but it'll at least give you something that you can decorate with if you're really on a tight budget. They do sometimes have other types of washi tape, like this is a Tsum Tsum Disney washi tape. So if you like that kind of cutesy thing, this is more, you know, I guess aimed traditionally towards children, but we all like cute things like Hello Kitty and Disney and stuff like that. So this is a dollar for a roll of tape, which might not really be the best deal, but they do have some types of washi tape there. They also have things like these jumbo paper clips. They also have regular paper clips that you could just buy a spool of ribbon and make your own paper clips. 
Um, but just to show you some of the variety of things that they have. Now, again, one of the things that I find about the dollar store is that some things are really good deals, like the three gel pens for a dollar, but other things like five super tip markers for a dollar, this is not like an amazing deal because you can go to Walmart or on Amazon and you can find like huge packs of like 40 super tips for $10 or less. So this, you know, if, if you want just the main five colors and you don't want like a ton of colors or you really just don't want to spend more than a dollar, then this is totally fine. And it's a great deal if you just want one, but you can, super tips are pretty inexpensive as it is. But if you go on YouTube here, even some of the bigger name bullet journalists and stuff like Amanda Rach Lee use Crayola super tips and you can use them because of the way the tip is to do even like calligraphy because it has a a small tip and then a broader edge. So if you use the tip and the edge, you can make it look like calligraphy. And so you can just YouTube search that. And I promise you'll find lots of videos of people using their super tips in that way. You can also use it in a similar way to like the Tombow dual brush pens because they have a fine tip and then they have a brush tip. And even though these super tips are not brush tip, they do become they're sort of like wedged, so they do become broader on the other side. So this is a good alternative to markers like the Tombow because you can use them for both fine tip and for like a thicker tip. So you can get these at the Dollar Tree gel pens. You can get, like I said, you know, this is a hand lettering one that has a fine tip and a chisel tip. You've got, um, I just bought a, a lot of different kinds like the felt tip pens. These are all black pens that are another type of like ballpoint. These cl clip clicks have different colors in them. So I'm anxious to try these out and see if they're any good. And then they also have these types of colorful gel pens in lots of different colors. So I'm gonna try them out, but you can see there's a variety of different types of pens, especially if you just wanna use like black gel pen in your bullet journal, and then you're gonna bring color in through stickers and things like markers, you could do it really cheap because obviously you don't need to buy all of these. You could just get the gel pens and use that, or you could just get the felt tip pen Pens, just like a lot of bullet journalists just use felt tip pens. So you could just get this for a dollar, this for a dollar, and then something like stickers. Now they're not going to have as good a quality of stickers as say the Happy Planner books or other things you can find at Michael's, but these are actually cute stickers and they have stuff that would totally work for planners. And there's 300 stickers for a dollar. There's a couple different sheets and they have things like phone calls and birthdays, little mail um, envelopes, coffee ones. There's some really cute and colorful stickers here. So you could grab like, let's say a thing of stickers, super tips, the felt tip pens, the washi tapes that's only four dollars then you can grab a paper pad which I'll talk about that in a little bit when I get to one of the later tips of how you could use this so that's five dollars then another thing you could do is they had this weekly 2020 planner which is something you could easily carry in your purse and no it's not fancy but when you're on a budget you don't really need it to be fancy it can be very plain and you can take some of these other things and really make it your own by putting like washi tape along the bottom, using the super tips to add some color, using the stickers to add your appointments and things like that, and just putting your own color into it or color code into it, especially if you ended up finding some uh, multicolored pins like this, you could really use like one color for your appointments and one color for your writing for the day, one color for your social media, and you could make this look really nice. And it's a nice little planner just for a dollar. So let's say you did all of that. You would still have only spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars on your entire planner system. Then if you actually wanted a second planner, one of the things that you can also get at Dollar Tree and a lot of discount stores are just these three ring half size binders. And of course you can get the bigger ones too, but these are easier to carry with you. Sometimes you can be lucky enough to find one more like this that has a pocket. Now I got this one at Staples for I believe like four or $5. So a little bit more investment and the plastic does tend to get used over time. This is an older one, but if you have this little pocket, you could even potentially like make your own 
vision board or like put your book cover on the front and you could slip things in and out. Now this one that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar doesn't have the pockets, it's just plain. Then you've got the pockets in the front that you could decorate with like the big paper clip or any other way. The binder came with nothing in it, but this this is an example of an insert that I got at the Target dollar, dollar spot for a dollar and you could easily make your own planner obviously for that if you just wanted to use that. They also at some of the Dollar Trees or definitely at Target and Walmart and Staples will sell packs of paper that are already pre uh, punched for you or you could just get your own hole punch cut your own paper down and it would be even cheaper than this so there are lots of ways now I can show you as an example what I used to do with this one because this used to be my plotting notebook if you followed me for a while you know that I now use a happy planner for my plotting notebook but I used to use these half size binders and I have like images of the people that inspired my characters I have stickers stuck in the front then these tabs that you see I made out of full folders, file folders that I found on clearance at Staples. And I just cut them down with a little tab on there. And now I have different tabs for the different books that I was working on. And you can see that I've just taken some, in some instances, just regular uh, copy paper and cut it in half with a paper cutter. And I've, you know, I started plotting on these with different types of stickers and sticky notes and things like that. So that's how I used to use my or use this is what I used to use for my plotting notebook and then this would be the next book in the series and of course I printed some of this out so this is the old cover this is the new cover and so on so some of these sheets are like this that I got at Staples and some of them are just sheets that I created myself um, using regular copy paper and you can find cute bookmarks to go in this and you could make your own planner out of this now if you make your own tabs out of like file folders that you found on clearance you make your own um, bookmarks and you cut just regular copy paper or regular lined paper in half and do this yourself you could put together a planner system like this again for ten dollars or less and like i said you can often find this kind of thing in the taller target dollar spot or just in the dollar tree or places like that so always check these discount like bargain stores just some more examples of things that i found at discount type of stores is i went to big lots and i i spent fifteen dollars and ninety two cents because i had to have some hello kitty this hello kitty calendar that i don't even have sitting out here um, but in terms of everything else like if you subtract two dollars from what i spent um, because the hello kitty thing you i would have only spent about 13 or 14 dollars on this amount of stuff so what this is is this was a seven dollar this girl has plans horizontal layout planner it has the months in the front and then it has the weeks has some notes and tasks and then it has the weeks in a horizontal layout so just for seven dollars this is a o wire o binding planner that would be perfectly wonderful for you to use and it has a weekly spread it has monthly spreads it has places for notes and then i also find if you guys want to see actually a video on like essential planner tools that you can use and how to use them, let me know um, because I was thinking about adding that to this planner series. But correction tape is something that I use a lot because I tend to white things out or I like to redate things or um, like if it has this color already in it, maybe I want to cover over it. Then also a hole punch at Big Lots, they had this single hole punch for $1.50. I wouldn't use that with this system, but when I was talking about this type of binder, sometimes a three hole punch that you can adjust to the smaller size is gonna be more expensive, like maybe $10. So for a dollar or $2, you can get a single hole punch and just punch these holes individually and you're not spending very much money. Maybe a little bit more time, but not much money. Also look for like really nice brand name pins and things at some of these discount stores because this Pilot Precise V5, I love these rolling ball pins. They are amazing. They're extra fine, which I prefer. And you can see here it was only $2.62 for the two pack. Really all you would need if 
you were picking up this planner though is the pen and the planner or you could pick up a pack from the dollar tree of those multicolored pens so that you can color code this along with a couple rolls of washi tape and you're set to go for about ten dollars or less when i was mentioning discount stores i also mentioned walmart because a lot of people do have access to a walmart where you may not have a big lots close to you so on this Walmart receipt, you can tell that I spent $19, but again, there's a cookie on here for my son. So really it was about $17. I probably should have checked out separately, but you know, forethought. So there's about $17 worth of stuff, and this would be a really great setup for a bullet journal. So at Walmart, they have these Exceed A5 dotted journals, and they have 100 GSM heavyweight paper, which is actually really good. It's 120 sheets, and I'm just gonna show you real quick the inside of this one. Now this has, like cream colored paper similar to the look term that people really like to use that costs you know twenty dollars twenty five dollars just for the bullet journal this one was eight dollars and sixty four cents so much cheaper and it has an index in here of one two three four five pages then it has just dot grid bullet journal with numbered pages so this is something that would be a perfectly good bullet journal and it's got you know like i said 120 sheets to it so it's really really nice so that means it has like 240 actual pages and then it does have a pocket here in the back and it has two page markers like ribbons that you can use to mark your page. So very nice, like what people are looking for, traditional type of bullet journal for less than $10. I also got these Sharpie pens, a two pack of these Sharpie pens, which are not the ones that are like the permanent markers. These are more like they don't bleed through the same way that regular Sharpies do. This was $2.97. But again, if you didn't wanna spend $3 for a two pack, you could grab this bullet journal at Walmart, run over to your closest dollar store and look for that two pack of of felt tip pens for just a dollar and then you would have spent ten dollars on your entire system and if you really watch a lot of bullet journalers they don't use more than the journal itself and either some markers like the crayola tip markers like i said or just a couple felt tip pens and they draw everything else in themselves so really for very inexpensive if you're really on a budget look for this exceed dotted journal because it's just as good a quality as a lot of the types that you can find like on Amazon or in other stores for a lot more money. And it's got all the features that bullet journals tend to like. The other things I bought at Walmart were these washi tapes. So these washi tapes were $1.88 a piece um, for each like set. So if you wanted to, like I said, you could grab the bullet journal some washi tape, some markers, and a couple pins, and you're set to go with your entire planning system. So I thought these were kind of cute. So part of the giveaway for today, I told you guys there were gonna be some giveaways coming up, is going to be this Walmart gift set here, which is the Exceed Journal, the two Sharpie pins, and the two sets of washi tape, which is a $17 value. So all you have to do is comment down below. This is going to be open internationally, so you can win no matter where you are. Just comment down below, and on December, 5th by about noon I will choose a winner there's going to be a couple of giveaways though so this is the first giveaway is the exceed bullet journal set so before we move on to the next tip I wanted to show you this quick trip to home goods so planners like this cute little weekly 2020 planner $5.99 this pink one for $4.99 some post-it note type things for just $3.99. Tons and tons of planners. It's not always really well put together, but like Ray Dunn, you know, this is a name brand planner. It says day by day, super cute little spiral weekly planner, $12.99. So you can really find some super cute stuff. Here's another weekly planner from Ray Dunn that's only $7.99. So then you've got things like this, a beautiful Kate Spade pencil pouch for only $16.99, which is about half the normal price. Tons of planners. This beautiful Cactus YRO planner, really good quality of a monthly and weekly planner for only $7.99. 
Yes, discount stores all the way. Go looking for them, especially in their clearance section, anything that's damaged, especially. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit in our next tip. So tip number two is to always go straight to the clearance rack. So if you're going to shop for something in person, go look in the clearance section. Staples, any kind of office supply store, planner supply store, any of those discount stores like I was talking about, if you go look in the clearance or even looking on the shelves for things that are damaged, you can often ask them for a deal. Also, if stuff is a little bit out of date, let's say you find a 2019 planner and there's literally only one month left of the year. So you could say, look, there's only one month left of this planner. Would you give it to me for two bucks? And just see what they say. I mean, the worst thing they can say is absolutely not, but nine times out of 10, they're going to give you a really good discount. Let me show you some of the discounts I got asking for a better deal. So this is a pop in 18, 19 planner. So this one is not good for very much longer. It only goes through December of 2019, but this will give you a good idea because I got this quite a while ago and I just never have used it. It was missing a back, the back plastic piece. So it has stickers in it, um, a couple of pages of stickers. It has notes pages. It has nice tabs. And then the months look like this. It has a notes page, a monthly spread, and then horizontal weekly spread that's mostly just blank. This planner was something like $17 or $20 for the planner originally. But it, I got it the, towards the beginning of 2019. So part of the planner had it was outdated. But also because it was sort of damaged with the back missing, I took this up to the front and I asked them if they could would give it to me for $5. And they said, no problem. They discounted it down to $5. And it was mine. You can always redate old planners. So I could go in and change this to 2020 and put it on the Monday, which I can't remember now <laughs> what Monday is. It might be the first um, instead. So you could always do that. Then when it comes to the back, what you could do is get a like a pretty piece of card stock or something like that. And you could you know, punch it to go on the back. Or if this is just going to sit on your desk, it doesn't really need to have a back. It doesn't really damage it to not have a back unless you're going to carry it around a lot of places with you. Another example of this was, and you can tell I've had this one for a little while because it's 2018. I always kind of keep my eye on outdated stuff in the clearance and ask for deals. So this one would be a little bit harder to redate on the outside. Maybe you could put a sticker here, but it says 2018 there and on the side. But this is one of Erin Condren's I don't even think they offer these anymore. They're a uh, hardcover, small life planners. And it comes with a, um, the painted petals and it comes with this horizontal system. Now, I don't remember, you guys can comment if you remember exactly how much these were, but I think they were at least like 14 or $15 for this little planner that would fit either on your desk or in your um, purse or your book, book bag. And it has a little ribbon here and really pretty pages. So it has similar to the life planner. It's got this kind of dreaming section, goals se section. Then it has this monthly layout with notes on the side. And then it has a horizontal layout. All you'd have to do to be able to use this is you could either purchase some of the date dots from Erin Condren's site, which are just a few dollars for a whole pack of the year. And actually you'd probably need two of them. Or you could, like I said, go someplace like big lots and spend a couple dollars and get correction tape and just white out all the numbers and then use a pretty marker or something to draw them in again. Of course it's time consuming, but if you're on a budget, this is a great way to get a truly quality, beautiful planner and just redate it. I got this in 2018 when there was only a couple weeks left of the year and I got it at Staples. So these were normally say, let's say 14 or $15. So I grabbed it and I actually grabbed two of them because I had two left and they had it marked down to like $10, which of course I wasn't gonna pay that. So I took it up to the front and I asked them if I could just give them a dollar each. And I told them, you know, these are nice planners, but nobody's gonna buy it with only a couple weeks left in the year. And I would rather have it if you'd give it to me for a dollar. So they gave me two for a dollar each. So then you have a gorgeous Erin Condren planner for a dollar. So lesson here is always check out those clearance sections and ask for the deal. Don't be afraid. The worst thing they can say is no. And where clearance really comes in handy is if you're patient, you can find all kinds of things like stickers, tapes, 
washi tapes, all kinds of things on severe clearance if they've been around for a while. So you might not be able to go out today and stock all your planner shelves with everything you need, but if you're willing to go back to store several times throughout the year and really look at their clearance items, you can gradually build up your stock of washi tapes, stickers, um, and other types of planner tools. The third tip I have for you is probably one of the more obvious ones, but that is coupons and special times of the year. So obviously what I'm talking about here is knowing where the coupons are and going and being very specific. Like remember in the last section that I was talking about being patient? Well, coupons are one of those places where you can also get some really good deals if you're patient. So I know many of you know about like Michael's and Joann's have coupons pretty much every day. Sometimes they're 30%, 40%, 50%, but every once in a while they will run a sale with 60% off. And one of the great things about it is if Joann's is having a coupon for 60%, off, you can actually use that coupon at Michael's and vice versa because they honor our competitor coupons. What I like to do is when I know there's a special item that I want to buy, but it's too expensive, I will keep my eye on the coupons. So for example, this happy planner punch that's for, you can use it for the big happy planner or the classic happy planner is $40. I, there was no way I was going to spend $40 on this punch, but it was something that I knew I would use over and over and over again. So I just waited super patiently and there were two things I had to make sure of. So number one, I had to make sure that there was a coupon for 50 or 60% off. So I kept an eye on all of the craft stores that honor each other's coupons waiting for that 60% off deal. But there's a frustrating little trick to it. So let's say Michaels is also running a sale for 30% off all planner supplies or 30% off all happy planner accessories. That means that this happy planner accessory is already 30% off. So if you were to take your 60% off coupon into Michaels on a day when this was already on sale, they wouldn't take the coupon because their coupons clearly state that it's on a regular priced item. So you have to make sure, like if you have a specific item, you have to make sure of two things. You have to make sure you have the coupon percentage off that you're looking for. So 50 or 60% off, whatever you're looking for. And number two, you have to make sure that the item you want is not already on sale because if it's already on sale, they're not going to give you the bigger discount. So when it comes to coupons, you can really get some nice planners for inexpensive. So this is a Michael's recollection planner. And if you love the style of an Erin Condren planner, for example, the Recollections planner is very similar. It's got the, the coil, which is not as good a quality, but it's still really nice. They have a variety of covers. Um, they don't come off the same way that Erin Condren's do, but they do have a variety of covers. It comes with this little uh, pocket inside, like a zip pouch. And then this one was a 2019-2020 planner that I grabbed um, a few weeks ago. So now they've got probably mostly just the 2020 without the 18 month ones on the shelves, but it's got some beautiful stickers that are kind of in the same color scheme as the cover. So lots of pretty stickers, a pocket, and then tabs that give you the monthly layout. And then the weekly layout is very similar to the vertical Erin Condren or the vertical Happy Planner style. So you can see it maybe a little bit better if I hold it up like that. So very similar to those other much, much more expensive type of planners. But if you look at my receipt here, you can see that this planner was originally $29.99 and I had a coupon for 60% off. So I got $17.99 off and I got the planner for $12. And I was telling you guys earlier that the, re the way I do this is I often will look to see either if uh, Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby have a 60% off coupon. And when they do, I just make sure that the item I want is not already on sale and then I can use it at any of the stores. So that's what I did here. I think it was a Joann's coupon and I just went in and used it and I got this gorgeous $30 planner that's very similar to a $60 Erin Condren planner. I got it for $12. So if you're on a budget, you can totally spend only like 10 to $15 and get a really nice planner. You just have to be patient to utilize the coupons. And I will admit that I know you also have to live near these stores or you have to look for a free shipping deal or you have to get a really deep discount so that you can afford the shipping. But a lot of times, even if you got this for $12 with the coupon, the shipping might only be $5 or something like flat rate shipping. So you could still get it for less than 20, but it's definitely worth looking for those coupons. I also, 
ended up getting this for half price because I went in and used the 60% off coupon on this planner and I uh, happened to catch Happy Planner stuff at 50% off. So I got this sticker book that will last for a very long time. You can use it for a lot of spreads, a lot of stickers for $9.99, $10. And then let's see, what else did I buy that day? So I got, this is another sticker book they have for just a dollar at Michael's. So I grabbed this because it also has a lot of stickers and they're really cute. So like even that, like look how cute it would look with this mint color in the back you could really do some cute spreads with that. So this has 280 stickers for only a dollar. And then I got something else for $2.50, but I'm not sure what it was. It might've been a roll of washi tape, but I don't have it here. It must've been something I used. So all of this stuff was originally $50 and I got it for $27.77. So 30 bucks and I got a, a really pricey sticker book, a pricey planner and some more stickers. So if you find stuff on deep discount, and actually if you're watching this the day it comes out, we've got Black Friday coming up in two days, and I guarantee you that planners like this at Michael's are usually for only $10. So if you shop at the right time of, time of year, you can really get some good discounts on really nice planners. Even the Erin Condren planners right now, starting um, actually starting today, and then Black Friday all the way through and Cyber Monday is gonna be 30% off. And if you use my code below, if you've never ordered from Erin Condren before, you can sign up for an account for the first time using my link and they will send you a $10 gift card that you can apply on top of that $30 off or 30% off. So you would get 30% off plus $10 off and you could really get a good deal on a $60 life planner. So check out that link down below if you wanna check out Erin Condren. Also check out stores like Michael's and Joann's and other places that they sell really nice planners and either use your coupons or take advantage of the time of year and the, the deals that they have going on. The second giveaway that I'm gonna be doing for this video is this gorgeous recollections planner. So it goes all the way through to the end of 2020. So you could definitely use this planner and you could just maybe pull this first part out if you wanted to. So it will be this gorgeous recollections planner, this student sticker book from the happy planner, as well as this sweet life sticker book. So we'll choose two winners. If you want to let me know in the comments, which one you want, or when I choose you and you email me, you can let me know which one you want and it'll be kind of first come first serve. Um, and good luck to you guys for winning. All you have to do is comment down below. And like I said, these will be international giveaways. Another example of checking out the time of year, using your coupons and things like that is if you wanted to do like a five plan, Planners. I've got this Carpe Diem planner I spent $7 on and the same thing go oh actually this was $10 and then I got a ton of these Webster pages if you look you can find my haul for Webster's pages I spent about $7 each on all of these binders so if you're interested in a5 rings you just have to look for the deals so this was $7 this Carpe Diem planner was $10 and even right now for Black Friday, Webster's Pages has a deal going off 70% off of all of their A5 binders. Paying attention to the time of year, you can get some amazing deals on these types of planners. Yeah, that's tip number three. Utilize your coupons. Make sure you understand how the coupons work. And what I recommend when you're using coupons really is to make a list of all the things you wanna get and then go at them one at a time. Because if you go into Michael's and you say, I'm gonna buy all the things all at once, you're only gonna be able to use one 50% off coupon because it's only for one item. But if you're really patient about it and you have your list of things that you really want to get, like the hole punch, the planner, the washi tape tube, all of those things, like maybe you have five or 10 things you really want to get, get them on different days. You can also sometimes as a little bit of a trick, get them at different stores. So you, if like, like I said, if Joanne has that 60% off coupon, you can use that 60% off at Michael's and you can use it on Joanne's because they're just honoring each other's coupons but they're two separate stores. I've also had luck before driving from one Michaels to another and using that same coupon twice in one day. You just can't use it in the same store or the same transaction. So if you're in a place where you have multiple Michaels or you have these types of craft stores around you, then it's a really good way to get things at a discount. The fourth tip that I have for you is to find things used. So often that can mean scouring eBay or Facebook marketplace or specialty groups. So that's how I found most of my beautiful Kiki K binders. I absolutely love Kiki K, but it's a 
it's a company from Australia. To buy something from their website and have it shipped free, you have to spend at least $150. And I just don't wanna spend $150 there every year getting the new planner stuff. Plus, it's one of those types of companies where if they have a purple planner with gold dots this year, that planner is not gonna be available next year. And I'm mostly talking about their binders, leather binders. So what I like to do is to join a brand's buy, sell, trade Facebook group. So there's a Kiki K buy, sell, trade. There's Happy Planner buy, sell, trade. There's Erin Condren buy, sell, pray, trade. Hobonichi, every type of thing. Chic Sparrow, Traveler's Notebooks, any kind of planner that you're interested in, there's probably a buy, sell, trade or multiple buy, sell, and trade Facebook groups. Now, it doesn't always mean that you can get things at a deep discount, but it does mean that sometimes if you're paying really close attention to those places, you can. So speaking of Facebook Marketplace and things like that, pretty much all of the Kiki K planners that I have, except for my teal one that I bought full price, I have found on Facebook Marketplace or eBay. So I have like three or four Kiki K planners and these are genuine leather planners. They're very high quality. The rings are really nice and big and they're just beautiful planners. So I got this black one. I also got this bubblegum pink one, which is a really rare one. It does have a little bit of a flaw here, but I love it. Um, and this is a highly sought after planner that I got for like $30 or less on Facebook Marketplace. So this black one, I actually got for less than $20. It's just people who don't want them anymore. They're sitting in their house collecting dust and they just want to get rid of them. You can often find stuff like this used for really good price. So yeah, look for used. So we're talking eBay, Mercari, some of those type of apps that you can find online where people let go of stuff. You can also search yard sales in your area. Now I have not had a ton of luck going to like garage sales or yard sales or even like Goodwill and finding many planner items, but every once in a while you make a good score. So check out type those types of used stores in your area, used apps, and definitely check out buy sell trade groups on Facebook. So my fifth tip is to pay attention to the time of year that you're shopping. So there are specific times of year where there's a lot of stationery and planners and that sort of thing on sale. So back to school time, obviously is a time when they've got everything out on the shelves. Well, you don't wanna shop when the back to school stuff is happening because that's when they've got it kind of marked up and they're showing everything in the store. What you wanna do is you wanna wait until about a week or two weeks after back to school and that's when they've got everything on sale. This one is very similar to the coupons and, the, and checking the time of year. But if you shop late, you can find some really good deals. So if you hold out until after the beginning of the year, a lot of the more expensive type planners, maybe starting February or March, are going to have some kind of really good deal on their planner. Sometimes, not so much with like Erin Condren or Plum Paper Planner or some of the like more expensive brands, but some of the more indie style brands, if you wait until halfway through the year, you're gonna get you know a planner for $10 or something like that. So it just kind of depends how much time you wanna go or if you're in the middle of the year really searching for something. You know, I can't go through a video without mentioning my girl Erin Condren and I actually have a video coming up tomorrow with all of my favorite Erin Condren things because this 30% off deal I don't know that they've ever even offered such a huge discount so I really want to pump you guys up and let you know that this 30% off for Black Friday and Cyber Monday is really one of their best deals they've ever had and even shopping late like shopping at the beginning of the year they're not likely to do another 30% off sale so this is probably going to be the biggest deal of the year but if you shop at certain times of the year, like I was saying earlier, you can get a really good deal on a planner. So this is an Erin Condren planner, uh, 18 month planner that I bought as a memory keeping planner for my daughter, Nynaeve, who we call Evie. And I've been keeping up with it as best I can um, with like a memory keeping spread for her. But this is super high quality. The coil on this is probably the best coiled coil bound planner on the market. The paper quality is just incredible. Nothing really goes through. It's just absolutely beautiful of a planner. The color, the design, the features of it. Plus you can take these covers off, which I love, and you can replace them and change them out, switch them out throughout the year. You, if you shop at the right time, you don't have to pay $60 for this planner. You can find really good deals like right now, you're gonna get $18 off. Or if you use that coupon code, you get $28 off. And you're gonna get a really good deal on a planner that you'll use 
all year long. So shopping at the right times. So this sixth tip requires you to have a printer. If you don't have a printer, this one doesn't matter to you. This is not gonna be the best tip for you. If you do have a printer at home and the ink isn't like crazy expensive to replace, then one thing you can do to plan on a budget is to utilize online freebies. So a ton of blogs and even big planner companies like Passion Planner and Plum Paper Planner and Emily Lay will give you free downloads. Like Emily Lay gives you a free download of their daily page so that you can try it out. So that's one example. But another example is just mostly searching blogs. So if you go on to some place like Pinterest or just to Google and you search for free sticker sheets, for example, you can find a ton of different blogs that are offering free sticker sheets. And usually all you have to do is sign up for their newsletter list and you can download the freebies and either stay on their list or you can always unsubscribe. So once you download, you can print those freebie sticker sheets as many times as you want. And then all you have to do is have a nice pair of scissors that you can cut them out. This also goes for different freebies for planner layouts, growth trackers, just about anything you can think of. So let's say you wanted to put together a planner that had a book review section. You could go to Pinterest and search for a free book review tracker. And lo and behold, you find it, you get a free printable, you print it out yourself you punch it and you put it into your planner. You can resize it to any size you want to and you can kind of play around with that design. So definitely utilizing online freebies because almost every blog out there has at least one freebie. Some of them have entire libraries of free offers that you can print out. But again, you do need to have a printer to make this one affordable. And my final tip for you today is to get creative. So Yes, stickers, washi tape, fancy pins like the Tombow dual brush pins, all that stuff can be extremely expensive. But especially when it comes to decorating your planner, you can get super creative with this and do it on a budget. So let me show you a few examples. Okay, so I'm not gonna be necessarily the prettiest at doing this, but let me show you some examples of how you can just take some inexpensive things if you don't wanna like buy huge Etsy kits that are gonna cost you like $15, $20 a week to put down all those stickers. There are other things that you can use to really decorate your planner on a budget. So one of the things I love to use is stencils. So this is from a set that I got um, from I think it was like a recollections set at Michael's that was really only a couple of dollars and the thing about investing in stencils is that you can use these over and over and over and over again and there's no limit to how many times you can use them so let's say you were in this dollar planner that you had let's say already gone through and redated you could use some of these simple things like you wanted to mark something that was happening on a certain day, you can go in with your stencil and you know, you, you might be able to draw this freehand, but if you're not a great drawer or an artist like I am not, you could go in, create a little flag like that. You could go in and give it a little bit of flair and make it look kind of cute like that. You could also utilize either colored pencils like this one that you could, let me find a better color for this week. Let's go with yellow. You could utilize colored pencils and really color those in. And of course you can find colored pencils really inexpensive, even at the dollar store or at Walmart and color in sections like that to make your planner look nice. Now that looks similar to a sticker, but it's not a sticker and it's something that you could create over and over again. So you've got simple ones like that. You can also find stencils that have like this one has um, like icons that you can use. So you've got a little computer, a microphone, a little TV here. So let's say you knew on Monday nights you were watching His Dark Materials, which is um, a show on HBO that my husband and I have been watching. I loved the books. Um, I read them several years ago. So you could draw in a little TV. You could give it like a little face to make it super cute. You could again pull out another color and you could color that in with either some markers or some colored pencils and you've got a cute little icon there that looks similar to a sticker without having to actually spend the money and if you didn't want to use stencils you could go right back to pinterest and just search for 
planner icons or planner headers or bullet journal headers and you could find lots of ideas of cute little headers you can also search here on youtube people like boho berry amanda rach lee and other people who do some really cool bullet journaling um, sometimes i get intimidated by those videos because i'm not very good at drawing which is why i love stencils so much but also if you just go to pinterest and look up those icons you can find some that are very very simple to draw like simple coffee cups simple clocks little things that will really make a big difference in your planner without having to actually spend any money. Another thing that you can do is without spending a lot, you can just utilize colored markers. So these are SEPA pens. I'll link to them down below. I got these on Amazon. They are very inexpensive. I got a big set of them. This isn't even all of them. Lots of different colors for, I believe, less than $10, but I'll link it for you down below. And you can use different colors on your planner to really make a big difference in how it actually looks. So let's say you were gonna kind of make a to-do list on Tuesday of what was going on. You could draw yourself like a little check box and then you could say, um, you know, record video. And maybe that was something you were doing for YouTube. Then you can use a different color, say this pretty green, and you can make another check box for yourself and you could say, you know, pick up dinner. And you can start to see very quickly how just something simple, like using different colors of markers in your planner can make such a big difference. And you can alternate them like I'm doing here. So the third one could say, um, take a walk whatever it is you're putting into your planner. And it starts to look really cute, even just with some very simple decoration. And this would be something, you know, you can use these pens. I've probably had these pens for two years and they still haven't run out and they're great. Now, one thing you'd have to be careful of is if you were, um, using kind of a less expensive planner sometimes these sort of marker pins are going to bleed through so you always want to do a pen test before you start really using those but that's one of the reasons that i love colored pencils so much also you can use things like i was just talking about from the dollar tree using these crayola super tips and i told you you can use these for like hand lettering and i'm not really good at doing it myself you can find other things that are you know other people that can do it much better but i'll just kind of give you an example so if you wanted to have some level of like prettier hand lettering in your bullet journal or in your planner oh my gosh I mean just please go look for someone who can actually do it <laughs> but you could use Crayola super tips to add markers and stuff like that and see in this Erin Condren planner that's not even going to show through at all um, another little tip that I have for you on how to kind of spice up your planner when you get creative without spending much money is going back to this Dollar Tree paper pad that I bought. So this is just a paper pad of some different patterns of paper. You can get stationary pads and all kinds of stuff. Sometimes they can be very expensive. This of course came from the Dollar Tree, um, but if you look for them like super discounted or super on sale, you can find them often for very little money so you could go in you could pick a pattern that you really like and you could use this sort of like washi tape so let me show you what i mean you could just take something like this measure it out and you could use a ruler or whatever i'm going to do this super fast so i'm sure it's not going to come out great but let's say i just wanted to go along this bottom part so i could measure it there and cut enough for both sides then you've got kind of like two strips of what could be used like washi tape. Then you take these super inexpensive like glue stick and you could glue this down like a little border on the bottom of your page. And look how cute that is. I mean, that totally spices up your planner without having to spend much money at all because you know, you're talking about 36 different pages for a dollar and you could use this over and over again. And then you could even take your scissors and you could cut out like one of the ice cream cones. Again, I'm kind of doing this quickly so that I can not take forever to record this video, but you could easily 
you know, cut that out completely and then stick it in as if it were a sticker. And you've spent like not even pennies to do this. And you could reuse this for the entire month just using this one sheet. You could use it for four different weeks. So that is a great way. You could also create like a little box on the side of each one of these um, just to have like a little separate section. And inside that box, you could stick other stickers or, you, you know, you could use a darker marker to write on top of it. There are a lot of things you can do if you start to get really creative with how you utilize things. So another thing that I found that I meant to mention earlier is this bullet journal kit. I got this at Joann's and this is one of those uh, examples of kind of being creative with what you pick up, but also utilizing those discount stores and those coupons. So this little bullet journal kit, which has a, a hundred dot grid pages is all, was only $5. And I actually used a 50% off coupon. So I got it for $2.50. And this is a really super cute little journal. It has dot grid in it. And then it also comes with a stencil like I was just talking about. I'm not sure how well that shows up, but it's got a cute little stencil here that has lots of different things like stars and even a like little checklist. And then it came with lots of little stickers and this was $2 and 50 cents. So then you can utilize some of the things that I was talking about inside the journal itself with drawing in your own headers, using different colors of markers to make things look nice, utilizing those stencils, working on your hand lettering with things like Crayola super tips to make it look really nice. And then use using some of these types of like strips of paper as if they were washi tape. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today in this planning on a budget video. Let me know down below which tip is your favorite tip or something you wouldn't have thought of yourself. And also I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos go up from me. And just once again, I wanted to let you guys know that my ultimate planning course, my HB90 bootcamp is now open for enrollment. If you you really want to change your life in 2020 and go after those big dreams that you maybe haven't had the confidence or the time or the focus or even just knowing where to begin to start those dreams to really go after them then this is the chance for you to invest in yourself there is a payment plan as well and for Black Friday I am offering $20 off the course which will make it the least expensive that it has been all year I would so love for you to join me in that class and the description and links to join are down below all right guys so I have two more planner videos coming up for you. If you missed the first part of this series, I have two other planning 101 videos that I will link for you down below. All right. I will see you in my next video though, about my favorite Erin Condren things and talk about some of the Black Friday deals coming up. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.